So, I bought a boat, and it turns out that the swing keel, which is a keel that fits under the boat, is stuck in the up position. There's no room to get the keel out because of all the cross members. So, we've got to take the boat off the trailer. And to hire somebody to do that gets real, real expensive. So, what we've decided to do is we've jacked up the back of the trailer and we've cribbed up railroad ties to support the back of the boat. We're going to let the trailer back down. This boat should be supported by the railroad ties. And then we're going to use these straps to lift the front of the boat up. And then we're going to drive the trailer out from under the boat. We're going to see how it works. So now we have the boat hanging in the tree. It's supported in the back on the cribbage. We let the jacks out from under the trailer. And you can see the trailer is standing free and the boat will swing back and forth in the air. Swing it just a little bit, Will. All right, that's enough, because that makes, yeah, yeah. Next, we have to pull the trailer out. All right, everything's up, swinging free. We're starting the truck. And, oh, did I tell y'all this was all hanging out of a tree? Anyway, we're fixing to move forward. Yeah, go slow. Now hold up just a minute. All right, we've let some of the air out of the tires. And we're doing this again. Yeah, go ahead. Real slow, Will. A little more. A little more. Okay. And that's all we have to let it out. Because now we've got room to get the keel out. The keel is completely frozen in place. We beat on it with a sledgehammer even. Can't get it to move. So we've rigged up plastic and a bilge pump and we're recirculating vinegar up into it to try to remove some of the corrosion so that we can get it free. And we're seeing how that works. So we've circulated the vinegar to the point where we think it's got it loose and we're hitting it with a hammer and you can see a little bit there where it's starting to come out we think this thing's going to tip out we're pulling the trailer forward a little bit so it can fall clearly all right so we beat on it with a sledgehammer and we got it to pop down and the back of it's out and the front of it's not we'll figure out how to get the front out all right go ahead real slow Keep going. Real slow, Will. A little bit of... Okay, stop, 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 stop. This is keel. You can see that the hinge point on the keel and all the rust has got it stuck in place. I'm lifting the keel up on my hoist.
cleaning off the rust and corrosion off the keel. We're just taking a major effort. When this is through, we'll polish it or clean it up with a wire brush and then we'll paint it. All right, this thing is really hard to move from place to place. Got to tie it onto my truck. And it's fixing to go wank. Robert, why don't you stand over here with me, buddy? Slurp, 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 slurp. Oh, gosh. Good job. Slow that? next time. See? So. We needed a big washer, and that's what it looks like after we made it. Cut a circle out the size we can, and we cut another circle out, and then we used a drill to cut it. That's going to be a washer when we put on everything. We got the pin in. It's got two Teflon gaskets on either side of it in there. They're the original gasket. We just kind of remounted them. Smooths real good. Moves real good. The pin looks real smooth. We're about ready to drop it off this hoist and drag it onto the boat. That's good, Will. So, I finished the keel. It's in, it's up. It's a fair amount of work. I wasn't able to use the internal hoist, so I had to drill a hole through the boat and then hang another come along from my tree. I've just backed the boat trailer back in under it and we're in the process, or I'm in the process of letting the boat down. 